Let's take a spin around the Magic Kingdom and reveal a new t-shirt design. Hey everyone, it's Herb from World of Walt. Welcome to another live broadcast from the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. A very pretty Saturday morning, 67 degrees. We can see Roy O. Disney and Minnie here at the entrance to Main Street, USA. And the Dapper Dans are making their way down Main Street. Good time to take a second and listen in. So today we are going to head right down the middle of Main Street, USA. We're going to hang a right. Uh, hopefully take a little spin on the teacups and check out what's going on. Maybe head over to the still under construction Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Come on over, boys. Hi, everybody. Hi there. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. Hi there. That's right. Fellas, I think we can sing another song. Just right here. Yes, right. Hey, good morning to you. Hey, John. Yeah. Hi, man. Good morning, Patricia. Hello. says terrific singers blend so well they do they have amazing talent becky hello to you in soggy philadelphia hope you're having a good day happy to bring you a little bit of disney sunshine it's a beautiful day here today 68 on the way up to 79 not terribly humid by florida standards sunny skies great day to be here barbara hello to you in new jersey hope you are doing well and doug good morning to you Emily, good morning to you in damp Tennessee. Says, looks like a gorgeous day here. It is indeed a gorgeous day. So today we are headed over towards the teacups. Might just have a brand new t-shirt design inspired by somebody's comment here on the Facebook Live as well as that particular attraction. We might make our way over towards Frontierland. I understand that Disney has been testing Tiana's Bayou Adventure. The water is back and they're running the logs through the uh, attraction. So we'll see if maybe we have an opportunity to catch that. Sometimes that could be happening on a Saturday. Peggy, 30 degrees in Chicago sounds chilly. Stay warm. I think winter is not done with us yet. Well, at least not done with us, with you in the north. Bruce in Dallas, happy early morning to you. Heather in Wisconsin, hello, welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Tanya says, yay, a new t-shirt. Hang on, we'll be debuting it here on the broadcast in just a little bit, so stay tuned. Of course, if you can't wait, you can head over to worldwildstore.com, but it's more fun to reveal it here, so we'll do that. 
Sounds like Tiana is on the Castle Four stage. Patty, hello to you in Winter Haven, not so far away. Susan in South Florida, good morning to you. All right, we are going to head over towards the Mad Tea Party. HR said she bought her Tom Lamaro shirt. I hope you enjoy it. Fun design. Thank you, Topher, for the idea. Linda, good morning to you. 25 degrees Fahrenheit in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Happy to bring you a little bit of Florida sunshine. We have uh, 68 Fahrenheit here. Beautiful day. And it's spring break, yes indeed. So there are plenty of people coming into Central Florida. Get a break from the winter. There were quite a few people waiting to get to the security this morning. Connie, good morning to you. Mitchell says wearing a Tom Morrow shirt. Thank you for that. Appreciate everyone who's made a purchase over at worldofaltstore.com. Kathy, good morning to you from the rainy Jersey Shore. Christine in sunny Colorado. Happy Saturday to you. So, several pieces of news released this week. Uh, one is that the new Communicore Hall, which is a sort of flex space, performance space, kitchen, uh, is going to be opening in Epcot on June 10th. That will complete the reimagining of Epcot and wrap up all the construction that's been going on for years of World Celebration. And with that, a brand new Encanto-based show is going to be starting on that stage. So. It'll be a big day for Epcot. All the construction walls should supposedly be down at that point. It'll be great to see. Uh, also excited that a new, new live performance is going to be in Epcot. It should be a lot of fun. That was one of the big pieces of news this week. There was another big piece of news from the Disney Cruise Line. The naming of the latest Disney ship will be called the Disney Destiny. Joining all the other ships in the fleet. Kimberly says, thanks for sharing. Kimberly, you are welcome. I appreciate your being here. John, put a link for the Pin of the Month Club in there. John, thank you so much for doing that and for prompting a shameless plug because you can never have too many. If you or anyone you know would like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Mary says, beautiful day. Wishes she were here. Marie says, looking forward to her next trip, April 16th. That'll be here before you know it. Hope you have a great visit. John says, sounds like a great show at Community Core Hall. I think it will be a lot of fun. Yeah, very cool. Encanto is certainly on a roll within the Disney company. Very popular story. Vicki the Georgia Peach, hello to you. Tiffany, good morning to you. Going to be here in July. Hope you have a great visit. For any of you counting down the number of days until your next visit, you might want to check out MagicalCountdown.com, a paper-based countdown calendar, where you can count down up to 365 days to your next trip. Actually, we have sold out of the first printing. We're working on an update, so stay tuned for that. But there is an interest form if you uh, want to get notified when the new calendar becomes available. You can sign up over at MagicalCountdown.com. Andy, 10 more days. Andy says, thanks for bringing us some Saturday magic. My pleasure. What a nice view of the control booth right here. Stephanie from Little Rock, hello to you. John, thanks for putting that link. All right, so while we have a minute, it seems like an opportune time to share with you the latest design over at World of Wealth Store. Courtesy of the nice folks at Tea Public, uh, this idea came from someone on this very broadcast. 
Uh, and I'm sorry, I forget the name of the person who did it, but it was a wonderful idea, and I decided to steal it, I mean, borrow it. Uh, so today we have a brand new shirt inspired by this very attraction. Once I get into the holding pin here, I will share it with you. Sandy, good morning to you. Alright, so this ride may or may not be for you, in which case, you might want to check out this new shirt design, where it has an illustration of something that looks kind of like the Mad Tea Party, with the caption, not my cup of tea, and roll the wall. I think it's kind of a fun design, and whether you love this attraction or know someone who doesn't, I think it's a fun design. You can check out this design and all the others over at rollthewellstore.com. So, it looks like it's just about our time to get on the attraction. I'll go ahead and share that design with you again. Jackie says he loves it. I've got a green cup right here. Carla says loves the shirt design. Thank you, Carla. It's a fun one. John says, am I going to do the people mover? Uh, we might be able to do that. Let's see. I'm pleasantly surprised I didn't have to wait very long here. Elka says, all aboard. Barbara says, very pretty on the design. Thank you for that. All right, Tanya, here we go soon. Stacy, snowy New Hampshire. Stay snow. My goodness. Hope you are enjoying your winter time. Patty says, loves the new shirt design. Thank you for that, Patty. So it seems like we have a second before we fire up again. I'll go ahead and share it one more time. So, brand new design available today over at worldofwealthstore.com with the illustration of something that kind of reminds you of this attraction. And the caption, not my cup of tea. Right. Very colorful design. Get it over at worldofworldstore.com. Brian's going to be here in 2025. Hope you have a great visit. All right, looks like we should be firing up here in a moment. Ed says the people mover was empty on Thursday. Wow. Well, we may have to go just check it out. Susan said, cute shirt. Thank you, Susan. Debbie says, loves the shirt. Thank you, Debbie. like we're getting a good long ride here today. Woo! Iona says, great new shirt design. Thank you for that. Kate says, getting Disney just watching. All right. We survived the match party. Jason, hello to you. Happy Saturday. Oh, it said she's dizzy. Robert, people move her five minute wait. Okay, we got to do it. Looks 
looks like a busy day here in the Magic Kingdom. Alright, we'll take one more moment to share the design with you because we are in the perfect spot to do so. Brand new design available today and on sale. Inspired by this very attraction, the Mad Tea Party, with a design that reminds you of this. And the caption, not my cup of tea. I think it's a lot of fun. Susan says, was fun, thank you. Carla says, two rides in one day. You can get that new shirt over at worldofwaltstore.com, where today it is on sale. All right, let's head over to the People Mover. The people have spoken. The people want to see the People Mover, so let's move to the People Mover. John says, down to a twofer. Lori says, have I done Tron on here yet? So uh, the cast members for Tron Light Cycle Run are very, very uh, clear in the fact that you are not allowed to have anything that might fly out of your possession. And they make you put your, your possessions in a locker before you go on. So unless I get a sort of body-mounted camera, I don't think I'd be able to do a a broadcast of Tron. Um, the other difficulty is that it's still a pretty hard attraction to, to get on uh, from a, a timing perspective. But I did get an opportunity to go and uh, ride Tron several times as part of the media event, and that's thanks to you. Thank you for watching, sharing, commenting, liking. It's because you do that that sometimes I get the opportunity to attend fun events with the nice folks at Disney Media Relations. Uh, and I have ridden several times as well. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to get uh, a, a spot in the queue, but it's a great ride. It goes by pretty quickly, but very visually fun. Um, a little uncomfortable in seats. Wouldn't want to sit in that position for a long period of time, trailing in it for a couple minutes anyway. It's a blast. I would highly recommend it. Dominic from Chile, Cleveland, Ohio. I assume Ohio, maybe Tennessee, but hope you're having a good day. You're north of me wherever you are. John says, ride on the people mover on a sunny Saturday is wonderful. Let's do it. Susan's a people mover fan. Amy, I think it was Amy, sorry, the name went by too quickly, said she's wearing the I Conquered the People Mover shirt. Thank you for doing that. Fun design. Still available over at worldofaltstore.com. Quite a few people here in the Magic Kingdom today, which makes sense. It's spring break. It's sort of a high season right now. The weather here is nice, but not boiling. The weather up north is cold. People get a little bit of time off of work and school. Barbara, good morning to you in New Jersey. She said something about maybe being in Miami. You are traveling. I hope you're having a good day. Gene, hello to you. Ah, 45 minutes for the uh, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. Chip says, no store ever had a better name than Anti-Gravity. That is a great name. Uh, I love the play on words. I think another great store name here in the Magic Kingdom is Memento Mori, which uh, is kind of an old-fashioned saying for remember your mortality, remember your death, but Memento also being a souvenir. Very, very clever names here. Susan's calling Mr. Morrow. Good morning, Mr. Tom Morrow. Welcome to the People Mover, presented by Enterprise Icon. Great idea. Ellen, cold and rainy in New Jersey, having Disney withdrawals. Happy to help you with that. Great way to do so is a dose of World of All. Bob says the People Mover is very underrated. Yes, I agree. I think it's a great attraction. It's a lot of fun. It's relaxing. You get to see a tour. Even though it's a very old attraction, it still has kind of a futuristic feel to it. Chris is a People Mover fan. And the people mover is a people eater. 
has a very large hourly capacity, so usually you don't have to wait very long. If you have to wait a long time for the people mover, you know the park is stuck. Deborah, hello to you in New York. Mary Beth says, let's admit all the people were sounds like fun. Thank you. Julie says, loves the ride, me too. Karen says, loves the retro futurism. That is a great way to describe the people mover, for sure. Lots of other people mover fans here. Stacy says, this broadcast is a favorite part of the Saturday routine. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate that. And other appendages inside your car. And please supervise younger beings. Raymond in Scotland, nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Hope you're having a good afternoon and a good morning to you from Central Florida. Uh, John is asking if people prefer the people mover at morning or at night. I'd love to hear your, your comment, your take on that. Are you a daytime people mover person or are you a nighttime people mover person? Advantages and disadvantages to both. I think if you go during the day, Non-stop service around. You get out of the sun, you get to sit down, you go at night, you get to see the colors, and your eyes are better adjusted for checking out space now. Everyone's calling Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow. You can check out a very recent t-shirt design. Paying tribute Welcome to Mr. Morrow over at worldofwaltstore.com. I'm Mark Five, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute. A lot of people are voting for both. And my is that I time to a person. Spacecraft to Monster Labs. There's really nothing like it today in tomorrow. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board. Thank you. Whoever wrote the script for this attraction is definitely a Disney fan. They knew what they were talking about. Next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Trader. Transfer to the Green and Red Lodge. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. People are voting for both day and night. Progress City. Progress City. Dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny ORAC. Oh. Sorry, hit the wrong button there for a second. On your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except actual stars. Those are no longer sold. No longer buy Star at Star Traders. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit. And these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light speedy competition. Susan paging Mr. Herb. <laughs> That's funny. Scott says, does Disneyland have a people mover? I believe the answer is no, that they used to, but then it shut down, and for one time it became a roller coaster, but the track couldn't handle the stress. And I think at this point, Disneyland does not have a people mover type attraction. If there's anybody out there on the West Coast who knows differently, you can let me know, but that's my understanding. Karen says, loves the trees and the landscaping here. Space Mountain. Where this is be kind of hard for a while. Or as we locals call it, Space Mountain. Our high speed rocket port to distant deep space destinations. Okay, 
just gonna show you this thing. No people move around. But... In the galaxy, the coral rooms of Pisces 7. You H2 owe it to yourself. Book today. Your H2 owe it to yourself. seeing in person the darkness of space. You might be able to hear the cars going by, people screaming. You can hear the track clicking, clacking. Gina is saying, hey, what about the Pit of the Month Club? Gina, thank you for prompting a shameless plug. It's dark and there's nothing to see, so I might as well say, if you would like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pitofthemonthclub.com. Peggy says, so not too many screens. That's true. It's sort of quietish. <laughs> Robert said the dark side of space. Love it. Gigi, hello to you in Maui. Thank you for being here on a very early morning for you. Thank you, Mr. Morrow. Mr. Tom Morrow. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Thank you. Hi, uh, Mr. Morrow. That flight to the moon is not going to wait forever. Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please keep forward-facing tentacles clear of oncoming vehicles. Thank you. Well, it says, thanks for sharing. You are welcome. Always interested to see what the wait time looks like for a space mountain. To your right is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Looks Top like 45 minutes and stuff happening. For a spin amongst the planets. Aaron says, looks beautiful. It is a beautiful day here in the Magic Kingdom. Nice weather. Great day to be here. For sure. And rocket rods use the people mover track at Disneyland. We never put that. As usual, we'll keep moving ahead, and so does the carousel. Like progress itself, this theater never stops, inspiring new generations to dream of a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Sanders says it doesn't look too crowded. I think we got a, a pretty pretty good set of people here today. But maybe not as stuffed as you might expect for spring break season. Robert says, great big beautiful tomorrow is a ringtone. Great idea. That's very cool. I don't know. No idea why I'm losing my voice. Calling all space rangers. Report to your star cruiser and join me on this daring space mission. I can see you on our shirts. Affirmative. We run it, Buzz. You count on us. Wow, that volcano effect is doing overtime. Says wishes she were here instead of where she is with snow. Happy to bring you a little bit of Disney sunshine today. Marcia says, "Great day, beautiful tomorrow." Is her ringtone too? That's awesome. Whether you have one eye or nine, take the time to see this show. Amazing view of the castle. Now approaching Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. 
my fellow sentient life forms, our people mover journey has nearly come full orbit. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a pleasure to have you aboard. And even though we're concluded, this is always my favorite part. Because now is the time, now is the best time, to go out and explore tomorrow. But then, see you in the future. See you in the future. Bridget said five minutes in a uh, small world. Well, we're going to have to walk over that way and see what's going on. I am shocked that so many attractions have such a slow wait time. Robert says the carousel is not Facebook Live friendly. <clears throat> Hopefully it will come back. Leonard, hello to you. Lewis, good morning to you. Happy Saturday. Thank you. Tanya has six inches of snow. Wow. It's like quite a snowy, cold day. Robert, thank you for the encouragement. Misty says, my tone is when you wish upon a star. Karen says, let's do small world. Okay, let's walk that way and see. Maybe we can make it happen. John says, is anyone else feeling like a Dole Whip? I think I'm always feeling like a Dole Whip. Maybe he said, small world stone will stick in your head forever. That is true. Thank you, Sherman Brothers. They're a blessing or a curse to the world. Freddy, good morning. All right, we continue our spin around the Magic Kingdom today. Had a chance to walk right down the middle of Main Street, USA, listen to the Dapper Dance just a bit. Went over to the Mad Tea Party and had the reveal of a brand new t-shirt design. Got into twofer with a ride on to the People Mover. Now we're going to head over and see if the wait for Small World is still very low. And if it is, we'll take that in. Because why not? It's not a usual occurrence to be able to get three attractions in in one day. But maybe we can do it. Marcia said, Small World is a favorite. Carol Ann says, Ringtone is bare necessity. Sounds like fun. Great movie. Great music. Melissa said, It would be fun to do three rides. Mike says, We need to stop by and say hello to Sunny Eclipse. We should do that sometime. New York City. Deborah says Ohana's is hands down the best food. Ohana's is amazing. I went there for a birthday celebration, not mine, and it was great. It's actually the first time I've been. It's kind of hard to get into. Jennifer says, what's the new t-shirt design? Jennifer, glad that you asked. Inspired by someone on this very broadcast and created courtesy of the nice folks at Tea Public. Reminiscent of the Mad Tea Party. New design available now. Sorry, it's a little bumpy as I walk. Not my cup of tea. World of Walt. So, if you know someone who isn't very big on the Tea Party, this design might be for them. And it happens to be on sale as a brand new design, along with the rest of the store. It's probably stopped so you can actually see it and not just see a big blur here. Someday I'll get this broadcasting thing down. There we go. Not my cup of tea. You can see the actual tea party in the background. Where can you get it? Head over to worldofwaltstore.com and head over to the t-shirt shop. This design and all the others are on sale. Thanks to everyone who's made a purchase in the past. It's a great encouragement to me. Nice way to support the site, so thank you for that. Jill says, is it time for a shameless plug for the Pin of the Month Club, Jill? 
the answer to your question is absolutely positively yes. We never asked. Thank you for prompting. If you would like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Jeff says, thanks for streaming. Jeff, you're welcome. Keith in Maryland, hello to you. Paula said, cute t-shirt. Thank you, Paula. Gina said, very cute. Thank you so much. That was kind of a fun design. Heading over towards Small World. We'll see if there is a standard wait or not. Always fun to see what the wait time looks like for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Still one of the most popular attractions here at the Magic Kingdom. Amy Beth says, colorful teacups, yes indeed. Lucille says, thanks for doing the broadcast, makes the weather bearable. Happy to share with you some Disney fun and some Central Florida weather. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, 80 minutes, that's a good long time. Right now we have 68 degrees, it's a gorgeous morning here. On the way up to the upper 70s, 79 is projected high today. Good day. 75 or 80 minutes, depending on which sign you believe. Eileen, she says she's making Easter baskets. That's kind of a fun thing to do. Keith sounds like magical weather. It is beautiful. Days like today when I often say if the weather was this good all the time, I wouldn't be able to afford to live here. It's just a picture-perfect day. Tina, hello to you in Iowa. Hope you're having a good day. John says, how about a cheeseburger egg roll? That sounds pretty good to me. Tanya, 104 days to go. I'll be here before you know it. Beryl said, just ordered the t-shirt in green. Beryl, thank you for that. Nice of you to put the order in. Thank you for all that you do for World of Law. Beryl is a very regular article contributor and a huge help to me, so I truly appreciate the work that she does. Carol Ann says, best carousel ever. Deborah asks if it's overcast. I would call it sort of overcast. It seems like it's a little more overcast now than it was when we started the broadcast. What a nice day. Tracy, hello to you in New Jersey, says thanks for your pin of the month shipment. You are very welcome. Thank you for being a member of the pin of the month club. I'm glad that you are enjoying it. Okay, always interesting to see what the wait time looks like for Peter Pan's flight. And it's 45 minutes. That's actually not so bad. All right, so if Small World is in the five or 10 minute range, we're gonna go. If it's more than that, I'm not sure that we'll hold up for the full experience. And, oh, it's 15, okay. All right, well, we tried. I'm not gonna get a three for today, we'll go with a two for. But this will give us the opportunity to head over towards Frontierland and Tiana's Bayou Adventure and see if there is continued testing going on. Debbie says, rain or shine, it's always a good day for Disney. Ron says, how about the Haunted Mansion? My guess is that given the wait time, won't be able to sneak that in, but we'll see, I could be surprised.
Vicky says, has the People Mover t-shirt. Vicky, thank you for that. Hope you enjoy it. It's a beautiful tangled Rapunzel area here. Very nice. Robert says, is Test Track getting a, a makeover? So Robert, yes it is. Disney actually announced uh, some concept art. Uh, there's no timing for it. It was said that they would sort of uh, include some touches from the original World of Motion, which was more of a, a dark ride, sort of a slow dark ride through the history of transportation. So, yeah, something's gonna happen. We just don't know exactly what or when. All right, it's 30 minutes standby wait for the Haunted Mansion. My battery is not going to have anything of it, but it's fun to see what's going on here. A lot of people ready to come in and see the spooks. I got real busy real fast. Uh, we were talking about store names before. The Haunted Mansion gift shop. Memento Mori. Again, we'll Great name for a shop. All right, it's getting a little more overcast. When I checked the forecast this morning, I don't think rain was in the works. Hopefully it's not going to be. We'll see. Yeah, looks like at this point, 11 o'clock might have some rain. So, We'll have to see what I'm going to do about that. Peggy says, Liberty Tree Tavern, always great. Thanksgiving every day, good stuff. Good stuff for sure. Someone said, Disney World needs a haunted mansion restaurant. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun, actually. I can imagine that if the food was at least decent, it would be constantly packed. All right, the patriotic music of Liberty Square. Soon on our way over to Frontierland. We're gonna take a peek and see what's going on at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. We get a pretty good view of it here. Now covered in lots of greenery. It's a little hard to see if water is running today. It looks like it is not. There have been plenty of images posted on the internet about testing happening on that attraction. Alan said it would be fun to eat with a ghost. Jody said a pretty view. Daryl said, I uh, love that walkway, very peaceful. I agree with you, Daryl. So straight ahead is the Country Bear Jamboree, which is now closed for refurbishment. Coming out with a new show with Disney-inspired music. Should be fun. I don't know if Blood on the Saddle is going to qualify as Disney-inspired, but it'll be fun to see the Country Bears get some attention. Mark says, it's raining in Wesley Chapel, headed my way in one and a half hours. Okay. Thank you for the heads up. Hopefully that will give me enough time to get back to the car without getting soaked. Barbie said, Haunted Mansion Parlor Bar coming to the Disney Treasure. That is certain to be a hit. Keith said, the Muppets need more attention. Keith, I agree, Muppets are a great franchise. Wonderful characters, very timeless. And each has its own unique personality. You know, there are some movies you watch, some characters you hear about. It's like, I don't even remember who that person's name is. But, I mean, Miss Piggy is unforgettable. Kermit, unforgettable. Monster, Fozzie Bear, all unforgettable. Peggy says, grab some fudge on your way out. Oh, the fudge in the Main Street confectionery is a, a weakness for me. It has so many good things there. I don't, I don't think I've seen it in the last couple of years, but they used to have a pumpkin fudge in the fall. Uh, maybe it comes back, I'm not sure, but 
Yeah, oh, so good. Ah, so, whole purpose was to come over here and check out what's going on with Tiana's Bio Adventure. Bayou Adventure. Uh, so, we can see the signs here that says, Sorry friends, we are ride testing only, opening this summer. So it looks like the uh, water is not flowing at this moment, but Disney has been doing some ride testing. Ricky says, Disneyland Pirates has a restaurant. Yes, it does. That's a very great point. Um, it's interesting to see as people come and go that, uh, on the attraction itself, they can see those in the restaurant and vice versa. Miranda says, it's going to be here for eight nights. Good for you. <laughs> John says, don't forget Pepe the Shrimp. He's a good one too. All right. Splash Mountain really has transformed. Looks very different now. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the decorations here for Tiana's Bio Adventure are in place. Going to be opening sometime this summer. And the fact that they're actually doing testing now makes you think it might be sooner versus later. It's kind of fun to look at some of the signs here. Uh, this is a good one. The only way to get what you want in this world is through hard work. All right, and Tiana's Foods established 1927. Family recipes, quality ingredients, and a dash of magic that turns neighbors into fine friends. Coming soon. Don't forget, book your bands for Mardi Gras season, the Association of New Orleans Square Musicians. All right, this is fun. Lewis is on his way to the party. Join the parade by posing in front of the umbrella or an instrument for a photo. Oh yeah, so we got this great photo op here. With Lewis, it says, come join the party. That's pretty cool. John says, you need a quick service restaurant for Tiana's. There has been lots of conversation about Pecos Bills maybe getting rethemed with a New Orleans uh, look. I can see that happening. All right, everybody, I think that's going to wrap it up for today, even though I didn't make it quite an hour. I don't want to get doused in the rain. It looks like I need to make my way out. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, today we had a chance to walk right down the middle of Main Street, USA. We had a chance to go on the Mad Tea Party and reveal a brand new shirt design available today and on sale, inspired by the idea of the Mad Tea Party, not my cup of tea. Kind of colorful and fun. Where can you find it? Head over to worldofwaltstore.com. That's worldofwaltstore.com. I had a chance to check out the People Mover, a little stroll through Fantasyland, and a chance to see the Honors Bayou Adventure. Thank you, as always, for joining me. It's great to spend a bit of Saturday with you. Um, appreciate the likes and the shares, the comments. Uh, it's because you do those things that sometimes I get the opportunity to s attend special events with the nice folks at Disney Media Relations, and I do truly appreciate your participation here. Thanks for checking out the website, worldofwalt.com. I'm also on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, so all the socials. Thank you so much, everyone. Hope you have a great Saturday, and until next time, God bless.